everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got my late summer decorating marathon for you guys. So if you happen to have missed one of my decorate with me's or if you like to sit and watch them all kind of in one sitting, then this is the video for you. If you guys are ready for some summer decorating ideas for the last couple of months of the season, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting my late summer decorating now that the 4th of July is done. I am starting off in my kitchen and dining room and I am using a lemon theme. I used to decorate with sunflowers during the summer, but I wanted a little something different while still keeping that blue and yellow color scheme that I love so much this time of year. So I did decide to go with lemons. I've still got some sunflowers that will make some appearances in other spaces in my home since I am still building up that stock of lemon decor. But here in the kitchen and dining room, I am keeping it strictly lemons and I am so excited to share it with you. Now I'm just starting with a wipe down of the counters and backsplash like I always do when I decorate in the kitchen. And then I am placing back some items that I always have out like my bread box and paper towels and all that jazz before I get into the actual decorating. I'm starting the decorating here on the pantry door and replacing this metal basket and faux fern with a beautiful lemon and wildflower wreath from Michaels that was a part of their lemon collection back in the spring. I love a good wildflower moment for the summer. I think it just really encapsulates that wild and free feeling that I really associate with summertime. I always add a little something here with my salt and pepper shakers and this time I am using a blue painted mason jar with some faux daisies as well as one singular faux lemon filler piece from Target. We have this one random white electrical plate here that I use a ladder and towel to hide. The ladder is from Hobby Lobby last fall and the gray striped towel is also from Hobby Lobby. I think it's from this year's spring shop, but I don't remember for sure, so don't quote me on that. Next to the ladder, I put a riser with a little citrus tree from the Target dollar spot, a cement house, and a candle that I have had for years in a lemon verbena scent. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. After all the smaller spaces in my kitchen, I tackled my three tiered tray on my kitchen island. I mostly used items from Michael's, Target, and Hobby Lobby on this tray, and I did my best to add some lemons as well as a pop of blue on each tier. As always, I will link all the decor items that I used in this video that are currently available down below in the description. And please feel free to leave a comment if I happen to miss something you're interested in, and I will be sure to get that information for you. We can always 
wanted these cute lemon measuring cups to sit up a little bit more instead of completely nesting. So I just added some strips of paper towel in between each one to just lift it a little bit further up. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Here on the Kitchen Island Bar, I placed my usual cutting board from Home Goods, as well as a yellow gingham towel from Hobby Lobby Spring Shop this year, and a small hanging basket with some greenery picks. I want to take a quick second here while I'm cleaning the dining room to thank you so much for watching. I know that we are all super busy, so I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to check out this video. If you're enjoying it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel, but if you're not ready yet, that's okay. You can always hit that thumbs up instead. It really does so much to help spread this video out to anyone else who would enjoy it too, as well as lets me know that you like it.
After adding two wreaths from Home Goods on the shutters, I added this lemonade recipe sign from Michael's to the top coffee bar shelf along with my pitcher with wooden cooking tools, a basket with some greenery inside, and a Ray Dunn mug. The mug is part of a matching set and I added the second one to the shelf below. No matter what I do, I'm coming home to you. And I don't know why, don't know why, don't know why. I'm always feeling homesick. Oh. All I know, all I know, all I know is this is where my heart is. Oh. I've seen many places where the beauty here on the lower shelf, I placed our coffee ground container as well as a vintage style lemonade canister, also from Michael's, and the second Ray Dunn mug. I spent some time trying to figure out what else I wanted to use to add a little more height on this shelf. I tried a basket tray first, but I ended up going with two black Ikea candlesticks instead and then placed a plant in the middle. What you do Here on the back door, I first put up this faux fern bush in the metal container that it was in when it was on the pantry door, but I decided that the metal didn't quite go with all of the warmth from the baskets I added throughout the rest of the kitchen and dining room, so I decided to use the hanging basket that I usually have on our entryway hooks instead. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes 
For the dining table centerpiece, I arranged some eucalyptus and cosmo stems in this beautiful chippy vase I found at a local vintage market just last week. I'm absolutely in love with the scalloped edge and I think it looks gorgeous on this table. And with that, that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in my next video when I decorate my living room and entryway. Bye for now. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am decorating my living room for the rest of the summer season. I am keeping a lot of the blue elements that I had out with my patriotic decor, but I am adding in a little bit of a lemon theme here and there. I only had a few pieces left of lemon decor after decorating my kitchen and dining room, so I tried to be really intentional about where I added it to make sure that it didn't seem out of place. Now, even though the past couple of times I've decorated in my living room, I've usually started with kind of my armchair corner of the room, I thought I would switch it up a little bit and decorate my floating shelves first this time. After wiping all the shelves down, I always decorate the top shelf first, kind of on its own. I added this farmhouse scale with some battery powered candles, as well as this piece of wall art from Hobby Lobby and a vase and some greenery.
As for the rest of the shelves, I usually decorate these kind of all at the same time. It helps me to keep a little bit of a balance between colors, textures, and greenery, and makes sure it all works together as a whole. I also like to make sure that I put my staple items like my vintage style book boxes for the TV remotes and photo frames in different spots. And that just lets me stretch my creativity a bit and keeps things from getting too stale. I mostly kept things neutral except for a couple of pops of blue and I used the rest of my lemon filler in the dough bowl for a bit of bright yellow. Everybody has their job nine to five and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. I hold my breath, waiting for someone to knock at my door. want to take a quick second here to welcome you to my channel if you're new and of course welcome back if you're returning and to thank you so much for watching. My name is Amanda and I love sharing all things home decorating and homemaking here on my channel. If you're enjoying today's video definitely hit the thumbs up button to let me know and please consider subscribing. It really does mean the world to me.
keep my mind occupied so that I can fall. Here on the kids' toy cabinet, I put this white wire basket that I picked up from my parents and added these faux plants from Amazon inside. I then placed a couple of books and a photo frame next to it. It's keeping me awake. I don't know what it is. But it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. Cause I long for you. I decided to change out the vase that I usually have out on this TV stand with this one that I've been using up in the master bedroom. The vase and the eucalyptus branches are both from Target and opposite it I put my two tall white candlesticks. Ever since we On this shelf, I added this window arch from Hobby Lobby, some candlesticks from Michael's that I picked up a couple of years ago, and a lemon tree from Target's Dollar Spot. I still felt like it needed something else though, so I also placed a small neutral vase there too. Here on top of the piano, I have had my other longer dough bowl for a few seasons and I really wanted to change it up a bit. So I placed my Kirkland's wood lantern here with some faux plants from Hearth and Hand on this one side. And then on the other side, I put a couple of vases and a small house with a copper roof. The two vases were from Target last year. The amber one was, I think, the dollar spot, and the smaller one was Hearth and Hand. And the house was from Hobby Lobby's fall collection last year, but I do think they have it again this year. As always, I will link any items that I can for you down in the description, and if I forget something, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I will definitely get you any information that I have on it. Here on the wall beside the piano, I repurposed this basket tray as wall decor, and then I added another piece of wall art that I picked up this past summer from Hobby Lobby underneath it. On the cabinet below, I have had a tiered tray in that spot for, goodness, who knows how long, over a year at least, but I am changing things up a bit. I'm bringing that tray up to the master bedroom, and instead I am keeping it simple, placing a couple books with some black wooden links from Hobby Lobby next to my white lilac arrangement from Studio McGee's Spring Line at Target. I 
was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy Here in the entryway, I replaced the wreath with this piece of wall art from Hobby Lobby that I purchased from their spring shop a couple of years ago. I'm not sure if I like it here. It kind of gives a gallery wall feel that I am not quite sure about, but it'll do for now. On the table below, I kept the books and candle the same, but I placed a blue vase filled with shells and stones my older son found at the beach, along with a glass and rattan bottle from the Target Dollar Spot and a small faux plant from Hobby Lobby for a simple look. I just love using the stones and shells in this vase. It's just so personal to our family. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving the master bedroom a cozy summer refresh. I am so excited to put up some new summer farmhouse decor for the rest of the season. I'll be decorating with pops of blue and a little bit of yellow with the addition of some sunflowers for a beautiful, fresh and cozy farmhouse feel. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for all sorts of decorating inspiration. It does so much to help support my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope Hope you enjoy the video. I'm just starting out by making the bed after washing the sheets. I am keeping the same quilt out that I've had all summer. If you've watched some of my other bedroom decorating videos, you might know that my husband and I prefer using quilts on the bed except during the winter because it just helps us keep cooler at night. We do tend to run hot. I love the subtle gray stripes on this one. It just feels so clean. I am keeping these pillows with the blue covers from Ikea out on the bed for the rest of the summer as well, but I decided to go for a more simple look and not add another pillow in front of these, which I usually do, but I'm changing it up a little bit. On the headboard, I added this sunflower garland from Michaels that I picked up a few years ago. I absolutely love it, and I think it looks really pretty on the headboard. Hey, darling, can
Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Here on the end of the bed, I just added a beige blanket from Home Goods to complete the look. On the dresser, after cleaning it off, I added back this runner just to protect the paint job that I did. And then I put out this vase that I used to have out down in our living room and added a sunflower bush from Amazon. You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Opposite the vase, I brought up my tear tray that was also down in the living room before to bring a little something new to this room. The tear tray is from Amazon. It is definitely my favorite to decorate of the two that I have. It is super easy to work with. It's just the right size. I never feel like I've overfilled it, which is saying something because my natural instinct is to go with more is more, even though I try very hard not to. So anything that prevents me from doing that is very welcome. Now most of the items that I used on this tray are from Target or Hobby Lobby. I always find that they have some of the best items for tiered trays, but I did use these vases from Amazon as well as a decorative sphere that my mom gave me. She had picked up a few of them several years ago and I don't remember where she got them from. I think it might have been Pier 1, which means they're probably not available anymore. But I have seen something similar to them at Michael's back in the spring. Now I will link anything that I use down in the description for you to check out if you're interested as long as it's still available. If I happen to miss something that you want to know more about, definitely ask in the comments and I will be sure to get you what you need. I love chatting to you all down in the comments and I have gotten some great ideas in the past from you guys, so feel free to let me know your thoughts.
this little bumblebee sign that says be kind was really giving me some heartache. It was too short to be up on top, but once I put something underneath it to lift it up so you could read the whole thing, it was too tall, so I ended up having to switch things around and put it on the bottom tier instead. shelf I placed back this sign as well as my chicken wire terracotta planter and added another sunflower bush this time from Michael's. I love the white sunflowers on this one. I think it adds just a little bit of variety to all the yellow and it has kind of a fresh feeling I guess. On the other side of the sign I added a cloche with some jute ball filler from Target. I have not decorated this very top shelf before, but I thought I would give it a try this time. I added this wooden lantern from Hobby Lobby. I tried to place it at an angle, but it, there wasn't enough room, so I had to just put it there straight on. And I placed a white mason jar with some faux daisies inside the lantern. Next to it, I placed some books that we own, as well as a little blue and white pitcher from Dollar Tree and a white house from Target that lights up. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have got my summer home tour coming up in my next video and then I'm going to be moving on to a little bit of fall as we move into August. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.